हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो एज यू गाइस वर डिमांडिंग अ लॉट अबाउट दिस वीडियो राइट वेयर आई नीडेड टू बी अपडेटिंग द पासिंग पैकेज और गिविंग सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जाम सो दिस इज दैट वीडियो गाइस वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू बी प्रोवाइडिंग सम इंपॉर्टेंट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन which is a sure shot for the uh, for your tomorrow's exam of digital signal processing where you need to be studying these questions thoroughly in order to get score good marks okay i assure you that if you go through these questions everything which i have uh, told you in this list and uh, which i have uh, done in my videos everything if you do it well you could be easily scoring around 50 marks for sure okay so please follow this video till the end guys like this video please your like would be very very important to us everybody who is watching right now like this video first okay so this is the most anticipated video guys you all of you were waiting for it and uh, here i have analyzed the previous year question paper okay this is the previous year question paper of my scheme when i i had written the exam i have uh, referred this question paper and based on the model question paper and other previous question papers i have uh, finalized some of the Uh, important questions of around uh, five to six questions from each module, and I have uh, made this final list where you should be going through this set of questions, okay, or problems. Everything I have, I'm, I'll tell you in this video, okay. So let us start from module one now. In module one, you should be covering some of the concepts related to DSP, that is digital signal processing. That is mainly some of the theory part, that is advantages and limitations of DSP. so these things i have already done it in my video in module 1 part the advantages and limitations of uh, digital signal processing everything i have covered it go and watch it okay so this question they might be asking because in the previously in the previous year question paper they have asked it so uh, according to the vtu pattern the last times question paper the questions would be there are high chances that the questions would be repeated okay so that's why you should be focusing on this question advantages and limitations of dsp okay so the next question is list time discuss different types of discrete time signals okay they might be asking also the different types of continuous time signals so why are specified as discrete time signals because this has been appeared a lot of time in the previous years question papers okay so different uh, discrete time signals with respect to even odd signals periodic aperiodic signals and some other kinds of signals you should be making a list along with their graphs okay so th this this question also there are high chances that they might be asking in module 1 next question is energy and power of unit step sequence okay so this question is there in your model paper as well where i have derived this uh, the the equations for energy and power of a unit step sequence so this also was not there in the previous year paper but uh, it was there in the 2020 2018 scheme paper okay so that's why there are high chances that uh, in uh, this 2022 scheme for tomorrow's exam this question also might be arising that is energy and power of a unit step sequence okay so you should be going through this question also next is lti system steps of convolution and problems okay problems related to the linear time invariant system where they would be giving you a sequence and they would be mentioning an arrow point and based on that you should be knowing to Uh, uh do the steps of convolution and along with their problems related to lti system okay they would be giving you some uh, set of uh, signals and you should be knowing how to be using solving them using the lti system so this these are also multiple times repeated next is response of the following si systems to the given input signal so the the fifth question is a confirm question guys definitely in your tomorrow's paper they would be asking one question related to the response of the system where they would be giving you one signal x of n they would be defining you one term x of n and they would be giving you different multiple y of n terms for that you should be drawing graphs and uh, coming to the conclusions along with their amplitude that how those graphs vary with respect to the signal provided x of n okay so one question related to this i have already solved it in my model paper solution in that playlist you could be checking it out for your reference okay so this is a sure question okay i'll put a tick mark here they would be definitely asking this along with that one program because uh, if i if you see the previous two to three question papers in the first part in module part a of module 1 one program is definitely asked and the repeated questions are programs related to the formation of unit step sequence and sinusoidal sequence okay so these two program programs you thoroughly study well okay uh, i guess in your uh, uh, DSP labs and all I guess they might they have might covered these programs okay go through it so this is about module one now let's get to module two in module two you need to be focusing on first question that is properties of Z transform okay so this is very important guys 
there were high chances that they might be asking this okay time reversal property then uh, linearity property symmetry property periodicity property all those properties which comes under z transform <laughs> they might be asking it okay next is the derivation of how the dft that is a discrete fourier transform is formed as a linear transformation okay so, so this also i have covered it in one of my videos dft as a linear transformation that is the matrix method okay how the dft can be solved using matrix method so that derivation you should be doing with respect to the uh, factor w that is the twiddle factor how the matrices uh, matrices are formed and how the ds uh, dfts can be calculated i have done it in one of my videos okay so this is also a multiple time repeated question focus on this next is uh, i am not sure whether this is module 2 or 3 so please let me know in the comments that uh, state and prove following properties circular time shift frequency shift and parseval's theorem okay i am not sure whether this is module 2 or 3 for a uh, instance i have uh, kept it in module 2 but this is a very important question guys okay so there are high chances that they might be asking this question in tomorrow's paper any one of the properties that is should state statement along with the proof okay so this also i have covered it in my model paper solutions circular time shift frequency shift and parseval's theorem okay so focus on these three very well any one of them would be definitely asked okay again i am going to be putting a tick here as well one of them is a sure question and dft and idft problems okay they would be definitely asking the basic problems for around uh, 7 to 8 marks okay dft idft problem both 4 and 8 points okay so i guess they won't be asking the 8 point problems because the basic problems uh, most of the papers they have asked they have asked only for 4 point but for the safer side study the 8 point and also and keep because uh, 8 point takes a lot of time so i guess they would be asking the four point dft idft problems okay and next is circular convolution problems again four point circular convolution problems you go through it uh, linear convolution problems i guess they won't be asking it so focus mainly on circular convolution okay so these are the set of questions from module 2 now let's get to module 3 so in module 3 The first question is related to overlap save and add method formation. That is, in my recent members video, I have already covered this. Those who have uh, taken the membership, they have uh, taken the advantage of it. That is where how the overlap save and overlap add method algorithm, along with its block diagram, I have tried to explain it in the separate videos. So go and watch it. Those who have not watched it. because uh, this is a repeated question in the previous 2 to 3 year paper also so that's why you should be me focusing on this question very well okay so this is the high, there are high chances that this question might be asked along with the problems related to overlap save and add method for around 8 marks they might be asking the problems okay next is again radix 2 dit fft problem it is a confirm question radix 2 dit fft problems okay it's a butterfly structure problems so they might be there are high chances that they might be asking the 8 point dit fft structure problems okay four point they won't be asking but eight point you should be definitely focusing on okay next is again dft properties some of the dft properties you should be knowing next programs again from module 3 one program is confirmed related to dft idft or radix 2 fft okay they would be giving you one sequence you should be building a program in such a way that to develop the radix 2 fft algorithm so dft idft there are less chances but for radix 2 uh, they would be definitely asking okay so focus on the programs as well next from module 4 compare different windows so this question is there right first one which i have uh, i have kept this question as it is which this question i have kept it as it is from the previous year papers because in all of the previous year paper you see this also here they have asked in module 4 compare different windows used to design fir filter i have kept the question as it is because this question is repeated in all the question papers you see here okay so this is the fixed question fixed question here for Around four to five marks. Okay, all the different windows you should be listing it down: rectangular, Hamming window, Hanning window, Bartlett window, and so on. Okay, all the windows you should be noting down. It is a fixed question. Next is symmetric linear phase FIR filter formation with respect to for n is equal to even and for n is equal to odd. How the linear phase FIR filter forms along with the limits you should be mentioning it. I have mentioned it in one in one of my member videos. Go through it. next is fir filter design problems for both low pass filter as well as high pass filter using different windows again i have solved around uh, 
uh, four to five problems in this topic only around three videos i have already covered it so go through it because uh, this these problems are definitely asked okay it is a sure short question they would be definitely asking one of them next is realizing the system function okay that is again a must question they would be asking you uh, where they would be giving you the system function y of n with respect to x of n you should be trying to re uh, represent that signal the system function using direct form or cascaded form they would be asking any one of them okay so focus on this as well from module 5 iir filter design method procedure okay how the iir filter design method uh, is done based on that you should be knowing how the uh, filter design is done the procedure for that they would be asking problems on iim method and blt method okay any one of the method problems they would be asking from module 5 i have covered in in my videos go and see it next is design procedure of analog butterworth filter okay so this i have uh, did not have time to cover this topic if uh, time permits I'll, i'm going to do it but uh, this is a uh, again a very important question guys okay you should be um, going through this that is a design procedure of analog or digital any one of them might be asking but there are high chances that they might be asking the design procedure of analog butterworth filter okay so go through it and one problem it is it is a fixed okay from the butterworth filter one problem is 100 percent sure okay so please focus on it guys and again 100 percent question is related to iir filter problems of df1 and df2 that is direct form 1 and direct form 2 they would be giving you the system function based on that you should be representing using df1 and df2 structures okay so yeah these were the important set of questions from uh, all the five modules which before giving the exams you need to be focusing very well okay so i have uh, tried to make this for you guys hope this would be very very beneficial for you and please let us know in the comments how were the videos till now okay how, how are you enjoying the members videos is it worth it or not and uh, whether i have uh, satisfied you or not everything you please mention down in the comments i need to know your opinions okay whether it is positive negative you are free to be commenting any of them but please don't spread hate okay don't spread hate you give your opinions we would be definitely considering it okay till now even a single comment which uh, which I have got trolled or which I have uh, in the negative way, I have not deleted it. I have kept those comments as it is in my channel. Okay. So that's why your opinion matters a lot. So that's why I have never deleted those comments. I have kept it as it is. So please, please comment freely. Okay. Uh, about how you think the videos are. Okay. And all the best for your exams guys tomorrow. This subject is very tricky guys. Okay. You, if you have watched all of my videos thoroughly and practiced thoroughly then only you could be scoring very good marks okay just don't be completely dependent on my videos guys okay watch the videos and then practice it on your own by pausing the video or without seeing the video in such a way you should be learning this subject because if you completely depend on videos copy paste whatever i've written that won't be working okay so that's why practice very well guys again there are around few hours left for the exams prepare well watch all of the videos again the playlist i guess tomorrow i'm going to be keeping all the videos as public from uh, tomorrow morning so that all would be uh, uh, benefited with it so let us see so till then please study well and uh, digital communication videos are also uh, in a uh, they are they are going to be getting uploaded swiftly after the exam so stay tuned for that as well and those who have not uh, purchased the membership please purchase it guys okay it is it would be a benefit for you only okay so please do it guys that's all guys. Thank you. All the best for your exams.